stick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. Joining me right now is UFC. I don't even know, you know, what weight division you're fighting at because this upcoming fight, I believe, is at lightweight. Oh, it's right? at featherweight. It's at oh, featherweight. It's I signed a contract for featherweight, so. Okay. It's featherweight, okay. Featherweight, so. All right, yeah. featherweight. Kai Kamaka, man, it's always good to get you on the show, man, and uh, and chop it up, man. How are you feeling? Um, I feel good. I feel better. I mean, it's not it's kind of cliche to say, but I feel better than my last fight. Um, no little nicks and whatnot. I, I feel good. No bruises, nothing. I mean, yeah, I feel better. I, I didn't just fight like two weeks ago. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I mean, I feel healthy. Weight is good, and it, it, it's it was a great call. All right. Well, before we get into the last fight and the fight coming up, I wanted to start with uh, these pictures that came up with Sean Shelby when you were a young buck. Like, what's the story behind that? That's um, shoot. I mean, Sean was in Hawaii at the time, like for a chunk of time, and yeah, he was around. Uh, He's working around uh, my family. They were working together with um, some stuff, MMA, MMA stuff, and he was a camera guy at the time, and then um. So, yeah, just they 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 did some um business back in the day, but um yeah, so I, I had the pleasure of knowing him like my whole life, and you know um and our you know he he's now the he's now one of my bosses, and um it took me a long road to get here. It wasn't easy. It made it actually even harder to get here. I had to earn it, you know, and I had my injuries and but I and I had to get through some hurdles, but um I mean. He didn't let me in easy, that's for sure. So you know, I'm grateful for that. And um, yeah. So I mean, I mean, there's there's a little black story, but um, yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm glad that I'm yeah. I'm just glad that um, I'm able to. We're both at this stage. He's the big biggest matchmaker, one of the biggest matchmakers, and um, now I get to work for the biggest promotion. Yeah, man, it's crazy how that comes full circle. You know, from when you were a kid. To knowing him and now you're a grown man fighting for the promotion that he he works for and, and pretty much controls man it's uh it blows your mind sometimes how this mma world works out yeah i mean it's small but it's not it's growing you know it's like so i mean yeah it's it's mma is crazy <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, well. it's growing rapidly i mean and that was the time like i'm only like i mean I'm only like five years old at that time, and I mean, just a lot of these guys never even knew about MMA. But I was fortunate enough to see, be exposed to these things, you know, and you know, just see the early stages. You know, I'm I can, like I'm 25 years old, but I can say like I was around like when you know what I mean when, when there was there there was almost like yeah, not, MMA wasn't even almost like wasn't on TV. It wasn't on TV, you know. So, I mean, it's just cra- it's crazy to see. Yeah, man. Speaking of crazy, last August, you get signed on short notice. You put on a fight of the year candidate, win, get a bonus. Now, when you look back at that experience, man, is it just a, a complete blur for you? Um, the, c- Kind of, yeah. That, that week went, hit me by fast. Like, my adrenaline, like, my my energy levels that next week were, like, like just, I mean, that because that was, like, a three weeks in a row of just like jam packed go, go, go. My, my life was going so fast and then, you know, a chunk of money and then, I mean, a lot of love. And then, so I just like for weeks at a time or for the weeks after I was just like tired. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, but I, but I couldn't wait to start working out. Like I was trying to run with like a fat lip and stitches and you know what I mean? Cause like, I mean, I didn't get this far to get this far, you know? Yeah. So now this time, it's on a week notice, on a week's notice, but it's a little bit more, a little bit more calm down, you know. And so I, I like, yeah, I'm not like rushing the pack or anything. Um, yeah, I mean, this this week is way way better. But I mean, that week, that week, that month of August, July, ending of July, August was crazy. Years of being on the grind and, and going through what you went through, and and you finally get to the UFC and you get that performance bonus. You go back home and and your baby is born, and having that money, man, must have been just like heaven, you know? Yeah, I mean, I mean, money is good, it's good, but it just like what what help what it helped the most is like because my wife was the one she was she was um I I was dad mom I was the one watching the kids 
training, you know, taking in with me while she was on us providing because everybody knows that in the early stage, this sport has like, you make almost nothing. You know what I mean? So I was just happy that she was able to fully stay home and enjoy, enjoy this pregnancy, enjoy being with the kids. Um, and that's what I was most grateful for is like being able to give back to her. She was able to, she's not able to like, rest six weeks or like whatever three months and then go back to work you know what i mean like we we're in a good place to where like uh, this is my career i want you to take care of the kids and take care of everything at home and you know not and then nothing like it's settled i mean uh, slows down life a little bit as far as home life for me and then now i can be more prepared to go do my job and it's paid off before we got on you were telling me that you're going to relocate to Las Vegas and your family will relocate. How has that process been? Uh, it's been it's been good. Um, I mean, I just Hawaii is just so expensive right now, and the way the world is, I think it just makes the most sense, you know, to be in Vegas, um, to have something for me and my family to eventually buy a house, buy multiple houses, and I mean, yeah, the way MMA um is going right now, the way things are moving so fast, and the pandemic. Um, 2020 crazy year so I just feel like maybe right right now I, I don't know nobody ever knows when they make decisions you got to do it to find out and I just feel like um, at this time I think it's the right time to kind of make a move and you know try something new as far as for my family you know um, that that's that, that was it that was that's the only reason why I decided to move Th those are the only reasons why I decided to move so I mean it's good. It um yeah, I looked up with um Ray Sefo, so it's been it's been really good. Yeah, man. Uh, Ray Sefo, OG. Where, when did you get to uh, Vegas? How many weeks back? Literally, like only like like two and a half weeks. Okay. <laughs> so. So yeah. the team, the team. You have to build the team. You've been training in Hawaii with your family, basically Ray Cooper and everybody else, the whole team out there. And now you you're in Vegas. You, you you're gonna get Ray Sefo. And is there any other coaches that you're working with? Um, so I'm working with Ray Seffo, and then um, I just started kind of like working with um, Coach Giff for boxing. Um, but my team is pretty much gonna pretty much gonna stay the same. I mean, I I got my team back home, and I got my you know I got my guys here. So I mean, my my cousin Ray is gonna be here. He gets in tonight, and then um. Yeah, Ray Seffo, and then one of my other cousins would be with me, um, McCoy Cooper. So, um, and he's the guy mostly that I train with back home as far as like getting the most work in. Um, so I mean that that's um that's the reason why. But I think and it, I think as of right now it'll stay like that. So, but I'm still like over here. I'm working with working with um, like Dan Dan a lot. So he's been helping me out a lot. But I mean as like as far as being in that corner you know i think it's just for right now that's like the best that's just the best choice um they know i'm gonna put in the work race fo sees um uh, he's been seeing me putting in the work and um yeah in that corner you just want that comfort of like um knowing that you guys will back you up you know what i mean and like i i, I fully can trust those guys so that's just the way it's gonna be right now there's so many great coaches out there in vegas why did you decide to go with Ray Seffo you know of course we know him he's a legend but like what exactly attracted you to him and his style um shoot I mean I wanted it to complement um something to complement my my wrestling style as well as my offensive style of going forward and and of course like um um he got you know he's, he's a Polynesian so it made it even easier <laughs> and um yeah and then well, we just have, I just have a good connection with him through my manager, um, through um, through um, Ray, from from the PFL. So it, we've been in contact for like a, a few years, and then now I'm you know I'm here. It's it's kind of it's kind of good that um it just worked out way easier. I mean that's I I like it, and yeah he's he's given me a lot of confidence. Yeah, I also seen you. You know, jumping in there with uh, Aljamain Sterling and for his camp, but now he's not fighting. 
on the original yeah, date. You know what I mean? I guess it's extended to next year. So how has it been jumping in there and helping him out? It was good. It was good. It was actually, um, it was good to get a different look as far as um, um, styles and going with somebody smaller than me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, so I usually train with guys that are a little bit, just a little bit bigger than me, if not way bigger than me. And, um, yeah, it's just good to get, like, feel that flow of somebody that fights at a bantam weight, which I used to fight at. And, um, yeah, it feels, uh, it, it was good. And then, um, I, I learned a lot from him. I hope, hope and I, you know, I helped him out with, with um, and I was actually going to continue to help him out, but I don't know what his schedule is going to be now. So, yeah, for sure, man. Well, that that's all helpful, and and then now you got this fight. I I noticed that you posted something on social media a couple of days ago. I believe November twenty first. You said, "Always game, send it. I'll sign it." The next day after that, it was announced that you're fighting Jonathan Pierce, man. Well, I mean, I I posted that right after, or well, right after I signed it. But I think they just took a, took a while to um to to you know, because I already knew but on Friday I knew, so that day I knew. Um, yeah. What was your question again, though? The question is, were you just ready to fight? Because is that seems what like that what was the situation right at that moment? It's like what or were, did you have something scheduled or what was going on? So I was supposed to fight December fifth, mm -hmm. but they for weeks for weeks and it's getting close. They didn't tell me anything. They were, or we're like, oh, um nothing yet or they're working on something and then they said okay they'll have something by this weekend and i, I was gonna press my manager like but it's like friday afternoon like freaking maybe it's not even the weekend yet but it's still the weekend i want to press them you know what i mean <laughs> so i didn't even i was like freaking i'm not gonna call him today and then he calls me at like 1 30 and um i thought it was for like sponsorship stuff <laughs> and then it was i mean it was it was good news <laughs> so yeah, so I mean, I already kind of knew, and then I I posted that, um, you know, kind of you know just give everybody something to think about, and then every then it came out, so yeah. So what do you think about the matchup against Jonathan Pierce? Um, I I mean I don't know I don't I don't I don't know I haven't looked um and but I think but from what I hear from my um from my coach and um Ray. You know, and like some people that I've been talking to, that um, you know, it's a very good matchup, and they like the, they like the matchup in in favor of me in certain um areas as far as the the stand up, and you know they're confident in my wrestling. Um, but yeah, it's just funny because like a lot of people don't realize that I'm a wrestler. You know what I mean? So, so you know, I guess I heard he's a wrestler, but I mean. Good, because I haven't fought a wrestler yet, you know, and, we're, and then two things that happen. I'm going to have to wrestle more or I, I'm going to be able to showcase my stand-up. You know what I mean? I'm a wrestler and a boxer. So, I mean, the, one of them is going to, one of them is going to, I feel, as far as me, I'm going to have to do more. Of. And, I mean, that's that's fine. That's fine with me. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. I mean... If he's if he's you know doing all this research and trying to game plan for a perfect fight, um, I mean there's nothing gonna be perfect about it because I'm just gonna I'm gonna come forward and I'm gonna force you to choose a fight. You know you're gonna you're gonna try and play a takedown game or you're gonna engage with me. And um, you know I just feel like once once things get ugly, I think I mean I, I I'm pretty good there so. Um, that's, that's where I plan to take it. This mentality of, of short notice fights and, and you, you look like you're prepared to just go in there and, and just implement whatever comes to you at that moment. You know, that's a different mentality, man. A lot of these guys that go into fights, they want these long training camps and, and prepare and make everything perfect. But for yourself, you're just like, I'm just going to fight. That's, that's it. That's basically it. Right. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the way I look at it. I mean. We're, we're, we're fighters at the highest level, right? I mean, we technically, I mean, technically, from a technical standpoint, like if we were to fight on the street, we should be able to win, you know, we're tough and, and we're tough guys. If we fight, you know, we fight trained, trained, other trained athletes, other trained fighters. So the way I look at it is if you call me on any given moment, if I'm fighting on the street or if I'm fighting six weeks from now, 
the result or at least the mentality of the result like should be the should be the same you know what i mean like oh, i'm gonna win well yeah i'm gonna i'm six weeks from now i should be able to win not like oh if i fight you tomorrow it won't work out in my favor but if i fight you eight weeks from now i should probably win i mean you know what i mean like that I don't I don't get that you know what I mean like oh I need a week notice um I need a week notice uh, or I need more than a week's notice um to basically win I'm like I mean shoot if you're a killer you're a killer and you you're able to do that at any moment you know what I mean like I mean that's why I try to live the lifestyle as far as my weight and everything I mean I don't now I don't cut a lot of weight um. You know, I cut, I cut, I, I, I pretty much just cut water and I'm always training. I mean, not every, as far as strength wise or training for in camp type of training. Um, but I mean, if you call me, I'm probably, I'm going to say, yeah. So I'm going to, so I'm going to now, if I say yes, if I'm always going to say yes, I have to eliminate all the other unknowns, like keeping my weight low, if I'm going to be able to make weight. So I got to keep it in a range where I can make weight. Now I got to keep my fitness levels in an area where I can be able to fight 15 minutes. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, just always getting better. I mean, that that's it. So if I'm always going to say yes, now I have to do all the others to be able to say yes. And I feel like I do. And then that's, that's why that's why I, I, I do take the short notice fights because because just, just that mentality alone, like, I'm gonna live the lifestyle. I'm not gonna live my life from camp to camp. My, um, you know, my life like this is like my job. So I'm gonna act like it. You know what I mean? Not like, oh, I need, I need a certain amount of time to be at this best level. Yeah, of course, that's nice. You know what I mean? I mean, I to I know the opponent and then the the date. But I mean, if you're if you if if you if you're a fighter, you're a fighter. You know what I mean? Like, I mean. I mean, not everybody would agree with me, but I, that's just the way I look at it. <laughs> that same reason could, yeah, and I just feel like that same reason could get you cut. Like, oh, no, I need this amount of time. You keep doing that, like, yeah, they might let you slip, but, like, you keep telling it, oh, I need this much time. Oh, didn't this much time. Like, I don't know. I just feel like you might get your pink slip after a while. So, especially if you needed eight weeks and then you, or you needed 12 weeks, and then you don't win or you look like crap because you did all this studying and then it's it's just trying to be a technical battle, you know what I mean? Like I mean, I don't know. That's I feel like that's a gamble in itself. You know what I mean? Like now I'm not I'm healthy right now. I got what um six more days. Um and I'm I'm you know, I've never missed weight, so that's the best time. I don't have to think about it. Now, if I had these eight week camps, just grind the eight weeks and then possibly get hurt or, or you know, in the in the midst of it, um, you know, that's just that's that's another gamble. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I, f- I feel good. And why not? <laughs> yeah, definitely. So what are your coaches telling you? You know, how do you see this fight playing out? You know, your last fight was <laughs> incredible, but, you know, I don't know if you want to go another 15 rounds of just standing and banging. You know, what I mean, that's. That's a, a fight style that doesn't really last too long for a lot of guys. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, I don't know, but see, the, they, I mean, Sefo just told me to be myself. Um, Ray just told me to be myself. Um, and, I mean, I, honestly, I don't want it to get that ugly jit from the part. I mean, yeah, I would like to fight a night bonus, but. I don't want all my family worrying again. You know what I mean? Like, I like that's the part. Like that. That. That's the reason why I don't want that fight. I mean, I'll take that fight nine times out of ten. That type of style. But um, I just don't want to ru- ruin. You know, I mean, not ruin. I just don't want to make them worry and make them panic. Get all the jitters. But I mean, of course, I'd like to go over there and just get it done quick. But at the same time, like. You know, like what Gaethje says, like he wants to meet his equal every time. Like that's what I want to do. Like I mean, like if you're if you're if you're a tough guy and if you if you if you're a fighter, you know what I mean. Like then I want to meet another one. You know what I mean. I don't want to go in there and just run through somebody. It's just I mean, yeah, that's nice and safe and a lot less stress. But I mean, just to me, it's just not as fun. <laughs>
So, I mean, yeah, I, I totally agree with you. But at the same time, it's like, I mean, I don't want to go in there and just run anybody over. Because then he didn't belong there to me. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, but it's, I mean, at the same time, it's still good. It's still good. I mean, it, for the for career wise. <laughs> yeah. Well, that mentality will have you prepared for any fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when, when you do go run over a, an opponent, it's just like, okay. Yeah. You know, okay. It, it's better than expected. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I just, and that's the way I treat my life. Like, I mean, if I go to a boxing gym, I want to box with the best boxers or or some or guys to get me to that level as far as being able to get score with them. Then I go to a wrestling gym. I want to go with the best guys or guys that will slowly build me up to the level to be with the best guys in the gym because because that yeah, that'll prepare me, you know what I mean? That'll give me some sense of security when I go in there. Unlike if I um if I'm a kickboxer and then it's MMA, it's 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 team practice, but it's wrestling day. And then I just I don't show up that day. Like, then you're not an MMA fighter. You know what I mean? Go kickbox or go box. Same thing for a wrestler. If you're a wrestler and then it comes big gloves sparring, and then you don't show up that day, or you, or you know, you just there's there's those guys that you know they they kind of they kind of play the schedule and you know, and then you're not a you're not an MMA fighter. You're a wrestler. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm a, I'm an MMA fighter. Um, this is what I want to do my whole life. Yeah, I wrestled. Yeah, I I can strike, but I'm an MMA fighter. So in order to do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything. You know what I mean? Like I gotta submerge myself in all my weaknesses to to they're at least proficient enough to go in any type of fighting style. So I mean, my life isn't isn't wrestling or boxing or kickboxing. It's MMA, and I'm trying to get the trying to get good at all of them. Shoot, if I could submit guys, I mean, I I probably would. It's, or it's not that I probably would. I probably and I and I probably can. It's just like, I mean, I just have a lot more fun staying in your face <laughs> and trying to drain you. That this is like my goal. I mean, if you can keep, if you can stay there with me, and then it's even more fun because mm-hmm. then we're both freaking getting to that point. You know what I mean? Like that last fight, Tony Kelly. Um, but I think right at that edge, that last minute. I felt like I was getting, I, I kind of was turning that corner again to where it was getting like the ugliest of the fight after he, oh, my face was like, then I just felt like, then it was even, that's even more where I wanted it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, cause I, I felt like my timing was, um, you know, I was get, getting better on him. Like, um, cause I was just throwing at that point and, you know, I didn't, I was thinking even less and it, I mean, it, it was, it was starting to pay off even more. When you explain it like that, I'm I'm pumped for this this next yeah. fight you got coming up in in less than six days, like you said, November twenty eighth in Las Vegas. Kai, appreciate the time, man. Um, these short yeah. notice interviews, short notice fights, I'm all for them, man. If you can perform uh, the way you I perform, better. Like, once I'm in, the, once once like these short notice fights come, like you get that rush, like you flip that switch, and then. And now I feel like more relaxed than I was when I didn't have a fight. Because then when I don't have a fight, I'm like, I'm trying to get a fight, mm-hmm. trying to look for a house, to, you know, I'm like a new house. I'm trying to do all these things. Now that I got a fight, like I can just like, I mean, I still got those stuff to worry about. But let me let me let me go out there and get this guy, and then I'll worry about this. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's a lot less. I'm actually a lot less stressed out now than I was prior to signing that bot agreement. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of it's kind of I mean. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just wired different, but like now I just like, I mean now I feel like I I, I sleep better now, prior to me signing the bar agreement, and I'm not even joking because this ring tells me that, oh, I'm getting <laughs> this lo- longer sleep, just because like I I know that I'm like going into quarantine, I'm just gonna have that time to myself, and some of them Saturday we're just gonna scrap. That's all. That's all I'm have to be worried about, you know. And right now, I'm not even worried about, like, fighting. I'm just worried about, like, getting um, the fight we going. I actually don't worry about him until after we weigh in. Like, because I don't give me any, I didn't even, I don't even, I only know his name and what that picture I'm tagged in that I reposted. But that's it. And I'm assuming he's a wrestler because he's tattooed. <laughs> so. But, yeah, I'm excited. Take a move in the ring. You can hit me with a-